Hey guys, Jason here with Tour 3 Solutions. First, I apologize about, apologize about the noise in the background. My wife is cranking away and cleaning the house. And I want to make sure to get this out because uh, I find it to be helpful for me. So I, I think other people can benefit from it. So let's talk a little bit about rigging. Um, moreover, uh, is assigning a, an adjustable control than anything. So if, you, if you're interested in seeing the full rig on how to make it, you know, for example, this model. I've already thrown IK uh, into the model. I created a bone structure, it's bound. And when it's said and done, this is the output that I do get. And there are some good and some bad things to this. The good thing is it's automated. So it's got kind of a nice little flow to it. The bad thing is that there are a lot of things here that are just, uh, you may want to make adjustments on strengths and whatnot to the actual um, dynamics. So how do we do that? So let's let's try and make this fairly simple because in fact it is actually pretty simple. So first off, and uh, and I, I will tell you that I'll run through a full video showing how to go through the initial steps of this. This is a little bit more advanced, but uh, but still for the the standard user. Uh, this will be really useful for you to understand how to do this process. So if I come in here and I look at my my uh, root null that I've created my expressive tag and I've also created some user data. So the user data that I have in particular, there's a couple things in here I want to add. Uh, and so I kind of wanted to show you without going terribly uh, over everyone's head, how do you do this? So first and foremost, what we have is we have the ability to sit here and, and adjust the controls. This is how any standard rig will work within any program. You have a control board, you have a model, and away you go. Different rigs for different things. I used to sit here and just create a bunch of splines and then uh, rotate the, uh, the or I'm sorry, a bunch of bones and just rotate the bones. It's not ideal. It doesn't give you a smooth, fluid, flowing uh, movement like you see here. So. So how do we make adjustments to those quick real time? So what I've done is I've created a couple of tags in here that I can adjust how fast I swim, at what rate, at what amplitude. So that helps, that's, that's a good start. But if we really want control of the model, we wanna be able to adjust other things too. So, so I'm gonna start by, by doing this. I'm gonna select that root null, I'm gonna go as you can see, I have my control tab here. I'm gonna to go to manage user data. And uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, before I do that, I'm actually gonna uh, determine what it is that I care about, what I care about adjusting. So for example, I do wanna adjust some of the strength on the dynamics tag. So if I select on the IK, for example, I come to my dynamics. This is what I've created for the dynamic. It's fairly simple, there are no collisions. I have gravity, which I will want to adjust, and I have all these options. Great, so I make an adjustment on an option, and I say, okay, play, and, and I go, oh, I don't like that, so I make another adjustment. Okay, that's a little better. Oh, wait, I forgot to do it for this one, right? And as you go through this, you go, oh, well, wouldn't it be nice if these were all linked together in one area that we could just manipulate everything? So that's what we want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all these IK, IK tags that I have, okay? Because I want them all to be in the same one. I'm okay with uh, making a simple adjustment. I'm going to come into the strength because that's my interest right now. I'm going to right click, go to uh, user interface. And in user interface, I'm going to say copy user data interface. When I do that, I come into, into I'm sorry, back to the root null where my controls are, go to user data, and I can paste user data interface. So what that's initially done is it's given us the power to take that uh, control that is already there uh, within the, uh, the rig itself that I have it built, but Cinema 4D has, and it's given me options to work with. So, okay, this is how it's uh, managing that particular data stream. So all I care about at this point is, uh, and let's call it, uh, actually, um, strength is fine because it's very uh, identifying as to what it's for. So if I come into strength, and for this case, I'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna say, okay. So now what I can do, and here's the fun part. Now I can select the root null again. I have my strength tag. 
I have to go to animation, I'm sorry, to expressions, set driver. If I come in, reselect all of these IK tags that we just had, we can come here to strength, expression, set driven, absolute. Now what happens when we do that? It creates an expression tag. Within that expression has the Expresso driver. So this is actually gonna control that particular use. But I don't wanna control it in a separate expression. I wanna control it in my rig. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select those. I'm gonna hit Control C. I'm gonna come to my, my normal rig. I'm gonna select the actual Expresso that I have built for it. Control V now pastes that expression that we just took, that we just created. I'm gonna come into my output. I'm gonna select my dolphin control my strength because that is what we created. Now, this is essentially the exact same thing that this is. But because I like things kind of neat and tidy, I'm actually gonna delete this as many times as I've made those, those adjustments, those uh, parts. So we're gonna select, actually we're, we're interested in one range mapper and we can delete the rest. And I'm gonna take the IK and kind of set them up in an orderly fashion. Okay, now I can connect the nodes into the input, the output into the input of the IK. I'm take my control output to the input of the range mapper. Now, what is that done? So if I come in here and I look, I can select the tag. You'll see that we have it connected. It shows that the Expresso is now connected in that port. And it should apply as it does to all of these. So now when I select this as a primary null and we're gonna go swimming, you see how we don't have anything moving kind of the way we want it to anymore. That's because we have zero strength. Now, if I start adding some strength in, it's gonna to start to add tension to the body. But if you do too much tension, this is what you end up with, a stiff board. And that's what a model that you would just import into any animation would look like if you didn't actually give it a rig. Here, we can start to refine and figure out where our happy point is. And that looks great. Uh, so if I want kind of a fast swim, a fast, uh, flowing swim and this looks really good except it's a little bit on the loose side so tighten it a little so we find that happy medium and i think we're kind of there so now we've been able to uh take that expressor tag make it a control and life is good well this is great thanks for showing us how to do that however what if i care about something a little bit more complicated like for example i want to take this path the spline path and the position. And I wanna put it into my main control. Now, when I'm giving a customer a, a project, uh, I, I don't expect them to have to do a lot of back and forth. That's just, it's just hard. It's very, very difficult. Uh, you don't want to have someone have to always cycle and say, gosh, where do I have to be? No, you just wanna stay in one null. You wanna stay in the primary control tab within that object you wanna be able to move around, do whatever you have to do, and then say you, you just make your adjustments. That's what you want. So we're gonna do that. Let's talk about how to do that. It's the same, uh, same process that we just went through. So I just wanna try and make this uh, kind of as simple as it can be. So all we care about is the path. So we're gonna go through the path. So I'm gonna again, take this path, go to expressions, I'm sorry, go to user interface copy the data interface. You always want to take that, copy it, use your data when you have the root null selected again, and you can, it's important that you can see your controls or it'll create a new one. We're gonna paste that user data and we have spline path. So for this case, I'm also gonna create a line to spline separator. This is another cleanliness thing. This doesn't necessarily mean that you have to sit here and do something like this. But to me, this is much cleaner. So what is this? This is a link. 
This will also teach you how some of these paths that Cinema 4D actually uses some of the data in the interface. Because I'm a simpleton and I, I, I can sit there with a book and read and learn how all this stuff works, but I like to do things and, and kind of get the idea through uh, in that method. So, spline path, again, I'm gonna go to expressions, set driver. I'm gonna come to the actual align to spline tag. I'm gonna go to spline path, expression, absolute. We'll delete the previous one because that's when we already completed. So here's a new expression tag. Again, I can open this up and there it is. It's, it's uh, selectable. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna come into my other expression, paste it. I'm gonna come down here to my dolphin controls, spline path. This can go away. This, the output of the spline path to the input of the aligned spline is all set. So now what that means is I can come in here and I can literally drag and drop within the same rig that we just had my spline and away we go. Of course, for this particular one, I am going to go ahead and also show you the, uh, we're also going to go ahead and do the, uh, the, the, uh, the position so we can get that in there. So we're going to do the user interface, copy, root null, paste, position is going to come below the spline path. And I'm going to come in again to the root null expression set driver. Remember, the one that is the driver is the control that is driving what it is that you want it to do. And then I'm going to come in here to the position, set driven absolute. I'm going to copy this again. I'm going to come into the main rig. I'm going to paste. Now this is something that can happen. You can start to actually have a hard time uh, getting some of these, these items because it does randomly sometimes push it in a very weird space. So if you paste the, uh, the driver but you don't see it, take a look around the actual uh, group. You can zoom in and zoom out. It's, it's a really unfortunate thing. It's actually one of the few things I don't really appreciate on the, uh, the Espresso. Um, it can get confusing and sometimes you literally can't find things that you're looking for. We're going to go back into position and all we care about is mapping this, the output to the input. And now we can come in here and we can follow that spline. Now the only other thing that really I would care about maybe is coming in and having it tangential or not. Uh, to me that doesn't really matter because uh, of how I have the rig designed, it's going to actually follow the, the spline. Um, but if I want it to follow a spline in this case, you know, it's a dolphin, so I want it to follow and go up and around and down and all the other good stuff, uh, I actually want it to follow it tangentially. And I'm always going to want it to follow that. So I don't find that to be a need to actually create that in the rate. It's always just going to be tangential. Now, as I have it follow, it'll just do its thing. And away we go. I hope this tutorial is useful and uh, actually explains if anyone's had questions or, or has had hardships with, uh, with being able to do this, please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Uh, send questions, comments. As always, you can check out our store at uh, Roar3DSolutions.com. Uh, we do have uh, some information to try and help get you into some of the modeling aspects. We're here to help first and foremost, uh, but we do make models for a living and so we always appreciate everyone's patronage. Thanks for watching guys and always happy modeling.